Nelson Chamisa takes charge, engages in grassroots campaigns for political future. In an exclusive interview with Newsday, opposition politician Nelson Chamisa revealed his recent grassroots campaigns in rural villages, outlining his determination to map out his next political move independently. Following his resignation as leader of the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC in January, citing ZANU-PF infiltration, factions within the opposition party have continued to associate themselves with Chamisa. Notably, a faction led by Welshman Cube has clung to Chamisa's face as the party logo, refusing to let go. Chamisa's loyal allies, including former legislators Amos Chibaya and Gifts Aziba, have been actively mobilizing support throughout the country under the banner of the Blue Movement. However, Chamisa clarified that his focus is not solely on forming another political party but on establishing a new government. Engaging directly with citizens, Chamisa emphasized his commitment to meeting people in villages. Engaging community leaders, opinion leaders, and traditional authorities. Expressing his admiration for the unwavering spirit of Zimbabweans yearning for change, he stressed the need for a new government rather than just a new movement. Chamisa asserted his determination not to disappoint those who hold hope for a better Zimbabwe. Apart from his grassroots efforts, Chamisa is actively seeking regional and international support to urgently address the country's political crisis. Following his resignation from CCC, he held discussions with several diplomatic representatives in Zimbabwe, including the Canadian Ambassador Adler Aristild and the British Ambassador Pete Bowles, to discuss various political issues. Chamisa underlined that he is leaving no stone unturned in his pursuit of ensuring the will of the people prevails. He is currently engaged in wide consultations with citizens and opinion leaders, intending to announce his next steps soon. Recognizing the complexity of the task at hand, he emphasized the importance of engaging various stakeholders, both locally and internationally, such as labor unions, religious groups, students, women's organizations, farmers' associations, and traditional leaders. Chamisa expressed his gratitude for the overwhelming response he has received, both domestically and beyond Zimbabwe's borders. He remains convinced that the Southern African Development Community SADC is still actively addressing Zimbabwe's political situation, emphasizing the need for a proper examination and qualification process. He argued that an election deemed lacking in credibility cannot produce a credible outcome. As Chamisa continues to navigate the political landscape, he remains resolute in his pursuit of a better future for Zimbabwe. With his grassroots campaigns and diplomatic engagements, he aims to garner support and contribute to resolving the ongoing political crisis, ensuring that the voice of the people prevails.